Well, good morning, our beloveds. We are sitting outdoors with our another again today, hoping that she will absorb some of the sun's rays to help her to heal. She has been releasing toxic energies for about a month now, and it has not been fun. <clears throat> As we explained to many of you, the month of April would catalyze you, would force you to focus on what do you wish to stand up for, what are you willing to die for. And this means that you are catalyzed. And with our another, releasing those toxic memories from the past and learning to integrate or reintegrate what is good or ideal for her causes everything to shift. <clears throat> In addition, when she doesn't feel well, she is more caustically inclined, meaning that her discernment is much greater and her forgiveness or desire to forgive or to accept lesser than treatment is also heightened. So this past month, she has seen people more for who they are and why, and she has stood up for herself. Now, this does not mean <coughs> that you need to beat somebody over the head with a baseball bat, but you are free to say, this is how I feel, and this is why. And if you can't do that, if you cannot express how you feel deep inside and why, then you will not be able to bring about the change that your heart and your soul desires. You need to feel it within, you need to use discernment and good judgment instead of bypassing those emotions uh, for all of these years because they don't feel good. And instead, you guys continue to bypass because you're uncomfortable, not with the anger, but with the processing of the anger. Many of you are great at the anger and you scream and you holler, but you scream and you holler at the other person letting your anger and your rage out, which does nothing other than fuel the fires more. <clears throat> we encourage you to go within and scream within and say, I fucking deserved better. And then to hold that line so that when you communicate with people, you just simply say, no, thank you. That doesn't feel good. Why did you choose to do it that way? Does that make sense? You share your anger within yourself and let yourself feel the anger and make the decisions that feel best for you. And therein lies these continuous April messages. Our another is struggling and has been so many emotions from dating to losing family once again because they simply cannot and refuse to see it from her perspective, whether they agree or not is irrelevant, but they're not even willing to say, oh, I understand. Now, if you see it that way, then it makes perfect sense why you were upset. No one is willing to give her that time and effort. And it is okay. It is because the other people are not ready for these types of conversations. And so our another is learning who to walk away from and why, most importantly. She's getting very clear on what feels good and what doesn't and when. She's learning to manage the wobble board, trying to retain her sense of center, but life is wobbly. It will always create some ups and downs and figuring out how to manage them, most of all, within your own integrity is what this is all about. If you can't find your own point or center of integrity where you wish to speak from and live from, then the world will continue to wash over you every day and you will feel resentment and you will feel anger and you will either stuff and suppress it or you will lash out at the other people, which doesn't resolve the underlying issue. It just merely adds more fuel to the fire. So we encourage you all to just slow down. Stop doing things with and for people 
where it does not feed your soul. You need not be there for every single person who comes into your life. And you need not abandon every single who, person who comes into your life. Instead, choose intentionally where you wish to put your effort and then just let it sit. Let it sit there for a day or two and allow us to bring about the opportunities for resolution. You all still continue to try to solve things, which we tell you no longer works. We want you to allow us to present or create the opportunities where the situation can be resolved because it naturally or intuitively aligns. When you go chase after somebody to hit them with the baseball bat versus waiting for somebody to come by and have a healthy conversation because the opportunity natural len naturally lends itself to such a conversation, well, it produces different results or outcomes. And many of you are still trying to push things up this steep hill, whereas we're trying to pull you up the hill with your experiences. And until most of you really understand that huge shift and how intentions and aspirations now work, it is no longer the Piscean age. It is now the Aquarian age where it comes from love, not force, not power. And you will continue to be frustrated when it doesn't align with what you want, but that is because you haven't even concluded what it is that you actually want, only that which you don't want. Put out into the universe how you want it to feel and why, most importantly, you want it to feel that way. And it is feel, not look. And then allow us... <clears throat> to bring the rainstorms, the moisture, the bad weather, to cleanse your land, to add moisture to your garden. And then when those individual seeds sprout, you can go out and look at them and determine friend or foe. And if it's foe, you simply remove it. Or if you're uncertain, you allow them to grow to be a little bit bigger so you can see the secondary leaves, whether or not they're friend or foe. So we don't wish for you to make any rash or impetuous decisions. We want you just to begin to feel what feeling, really feeling from a heart-centered space feels like. And once you reconnect to those energies within you, it will all begin to make sense and the ripple effect will begin as well. But until you all connect to that peace within you, you will continue to either sit there shivering in the corner out of fear or taking baseball bats and shovels and pitchforks and torches out on your daily walks, neither of which brings about harmonious solutions. One is as a victim and one is more as a terrorist than an activist. We want activists with heart, those who have a passion for what feels right and what looks right, and who will build it upon the energetic imprint within which we and you desire to build this. So stop feeding the old energies with hatred and animosity, but begin with feeling the anger and the frustration within your own soul thereby saying this does not feel good. I desire to call in something different. Believe in yourself and in your process enough that your belief systems really do matter. And if you don't believe that they do, well, there's not much else we can say because it is your way or the highway. And you are not open to entrainment and you are not open to listening to input from anybody else because you know it all. But the question that we have for you all is very simple. So how's that working for you? If it's not working for you, maybe it's time to come up with a different wheel design because your design is not taking you where you desire to go. And so it is. Namaste.